Okay. In certain relationships, a man is not always a, you know, dick, whatever. It's, as time goes by, you and him have issues. And those issues, you know, they keep building up, building up, building up. So, at that point, he, you know, is starts treating you like crap. And the arguments start, and they never end. They never end. That's why you need to go see a counselor or whatever and get the issues out on the table. And Thank you. Yeah, it's true. Not all women are attracted to pieces of shit. Because that's, I, like I said, I wasn't attracted to a piece of shit. This motherfucker was the ugliest piece of crap you could, I mean, ever look at. I mean, and it's not about the looks. But you loved him. But that's another point. Women fall in love with men for their looks, not their personality. There's so many different reasons why women are attracted to pieces of crap. So many different reasons. What do you think? Because they're, they're kicking the ass. What uh, do you think about the whole situation? About. He's talking about how he, he feels that most women are attracted to low lives. Seems that way sometimes. No, but you don't understand. I mean... You're being recorded. It's going to go on YouTube. Do you care? No, that's fine. Okay, cool. There's women out there who want a man who looks really fucking hot. And that's all they want. And they don't care about their personality. Yeah, but I was talking about getting treated like garbage. No, I'm saying this man could be the hottest man on earth, but have the shittiest personality and beat the shit out of you. But you don't give a fuck about that. Because all you care about is their looks or their dick or what the fuck ever. But if you notice, most big set white women are attracted to black guys. gangsters. Black you dudes. know why? Because black guys like, like said, black guys like the big ones. White chicks. Insecurities. And they want to feel cool. Or whatever the fuck. They don't care how much shit that man does to them. What do you think, bro? Think she's right? I don't know. Do you I have a girlfriend? Know. I don't. Well, I'm sure you had a girlfriend. Oh, I've, I've had to have a girlfriend. How have your relationships it. been? I mean, what's what's the deal with... Um, it's usually... Chicks are skanky. Yeah, they're horse. <laughs> yeah. They're horse. I mean, that's the only way women know how to, you know, when a man treats you like crap and you feel like that man is no longer attracted to you and you're having suspicions that this man is fucking somebody else, of course, what do you think a woman's going to do? Gonna go exactly. fuck his best friend, or fuck his cousin, or fuck his brother, or even fuck his dad. Dad, dad, yeah. Because they. Want <laughs> I was it. just yeah, I was just I gonna mean, say that. They want Have a good day, bro. The yeah. man where it hurts, and that's his heart. And that man could have not even been doing anything, you know. You are awesome. It's the truth. I know about this shit. I've been in a relationship with this motherfucker for almost ten years. Have two kids by him. And, like I said, I fell in love with him because of who he, you know, portrayed himself to be, which was a nice guy. And what ended up happening is that there were so many things that I found out about him were, I mean, absolutely disgusting. And I don't even want to discuss one of those issues. And, but he was violent. Ugh, violence Physic is never good. No, physically and verbally. And Verbally is worse than physical yeah, sometimes. Yeah, because, you know, but... Because not only does it make you feel like shit, but it makes you feel like shit and he doesn't even have exactly. to put his hands on you. But he, I mean, and he's like a pathological liar. He actually believes his lies. I mean, really, dude, you're asking me why I don't want to be with you anymore? Why I don't want to deal with your shit? He goes, what did I do? What did I ever do to you? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Like, he's in denial at this point. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you anymore. How are the kids? My kids, to tell you the truth, he's not a good father at all either. Well, do the kids miss her dad? No, they don't. They'll, they see him, but it's not like they're begging to see him. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he wasn't a good father to them. So, this is like one of my points with, like... Um, mothers and a stable family and how mm -hmm. kids grow up yeah you know they grow up fucked up because they don't have a stable, stable family stable they family they do when they get older they do what they see as they were younger exactly 
And if they see their father beating their mother, they're going to think, hey, I could beat the shit out of my girlfriend. And if they see their my, father the not being there, they, they cannot or, be there for their mother. Yeah. But the point is, is not I'm not saying that if it's just a mother and their child or, you know, a single mother raising their kids, that those kids are going to turn out to be like that. It's the way, you know, you... I'm not... Because most single mothers they have a lot of stress on them they just you know there's times where yeah. they just want to beat the shit out of their kids totally over little shit but the point is is beating the shit out of them is not going to do anything she's going to make them mad make them mad and make it worse and when they get older they're going to probably want to beat the shit out of you but you got to sit down you got to talk to them you got to you know explain to them be real be real and tell them the truth and say this is what i've been through this is what i did this is why i don't want you doing these things i, I you are better than that and i don't want you to be anything like me you get what i'm saying i this is awesome this is like the best realest thing i've ever recorded i mean if women and i like i said it's women are not attracted to pieces of shit but you they know? are I mean, in the long run, they are. It's not because, you know, oh, I like a man who beats me. You think, really, a woman... I don't know. My friend Tabitha was molested by her father when she was 12, and Mm -hmm. she's just been dating crap hole, crap hole since then. She's 37. No, let me tell you this, because I'm not going to get into my experience. Okay, no problem. But when you are molested or raped as a child, being a woman... When you grow up, you feel filthy, you feel dirty. You feel like you're not worth anything. You feel like, you know, I don't, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just going to fuck whomever. And, and that's the and reason I think care. most chicks date douchebags. Yeah, not, but, but I'm saying that's how they feel if you, as a child, if you were raped or molested. When you get older, you don't. You, you just feel like you're nothing and you deserve nothing, you know? You feel wow, this like it awesome. was your fault. And let me tell you, you'll fuck any Tom, Dick, and Harry. You don't care because you're not looking for love, really. Exactly. But there comes a point after all this, you're like, you know, and, and most of the time, 99% of the time, you're either drinking, you're doing drugs when you're fucking these men. And. Yeah. No, there comes a time when you're like, I can't do this anymore. What, what, what have I been doing? I'm just destroying my reputation and my life over, you know, some shit that happened so many years ago. I need to forgive and forget. And that's it. That's the truth. Have you forgiven and forgotten? You know, I, I, I've forgiven, but I have not forgotten. And you will never forget. You can never forget a thing like that. So then you can't say forgive and forget. Okay, well, then I can just say forgive. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah. Because if you can forgive, that's pretty much kind of... Yeah. Forgetting because mm-hmm. you're forgiving mm-hmm. what happened. Yeah. and That's awesome. Me as a mother, even though my kids, both of my, um, two of my children are boys, I still feel worried about them. I don't well, feel safe. Well, of course, safe. you're a mother. You know, I don't feel safe. I don't, you know, if they're with somebody, like with their father and their father takes them to their friend's house, I don't I feel safe. That's not, That's why I don't allow him to take them a lot. Because I don't know these people, I don't know where they've been, who they've been, you know, whatever. I don't know who they are. I don't trust because of my situation. Right. But at least, you know, that's a good thing. Not by me having sex with all these men and not caring and not loving, not loving myself. But that's a good side of it to where at least I know that I'm going to be there for my children and make sure it doesn't happen to them. Então...